Tina, you're allergic to wheat. Cool mom Tina loves holiday homes with a view. Look at your mother! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Super Bowl commercials of 2024. What are the French like? Anyone? Cheese. They like cheese. Brilliant. Done. Number 10, twist on it, Oreo. Let's twist on it. Cream on the left, we get out of here. Cream on the right, we stay with those guys. It would appear that Oreo is trying to replace the coin flip. We've never heard of twisting on it, but apparently, this has been a common decision-making method since the age of the dinosaurs. And here we were thinking that Oreos weren't invented until 1912. Creative liberties aside, this commercial puts a fun twist on several turning points in history, from the Trojan horse to the rise of boy bands to the day Kris Jenner got that fateful phone call. Every little detail about our family will be on TV. Who would watch that? Whether these moves benefited humankind or set society back a few decades, the important thing is that every choice culminated with a delicious cookie. Now, are we sure this commercial is worthy of our list? Let's twist on it. Yup. Wait a minute. We could have been twisting on everything this whole time. Yes, <laughs> since forever. Number nine, hello down there, Squarespace. Oh, look at this, that's 110, 150. Martin Scorsese has never made a sci-fi film, although he was interested in adapting Blade Runner before Ridley Scott beat him to it. For now, Scorsese finally touched upon the genre in this Squarespace commercial. With so much UFO footage surfacing as of late, people have never been more glued to their devices. Ironically, they stop watching the skies as a result, causing humanity to nearly overlook first contact. Flying saucers are not enough to pry eyes from phones and tablets. It isn't until the aliens from above make a website that they manage to get everyone's attention. This includes the commercial's director. Between the ending of Killers of the Flower Moon and now this, Scorsese elevates everything with his presence. I told you to take Broadway, this always happens. Number eight, talking like walking, BMW. It's the real deal, 100% electric. It's the real deal. Yeah. Christopher Walken is one of those stars that virtually anyone can imitate. That's because his voice and delivery are just so unique. That said, you can always tell when you're listening to an impression and when you're in the presence of the real deal. Nowhere is that more apparent than in this commercial, in which Walken can't go anywhere without hearing impressions of himself. Yeah. Yeah. Did someone say yeah? Walken even runs into Ashley Park and Usher, reminding the latter to get ready for halftime. The Oscar-winning actor takes the impersonations in good humor because, at the end of the day, he's one of a kind, just like the all-electric BMW i5. It's a clever celebrity endorsement that reminds us nobody plays Christopher Walken better than Christopher Walken. The rest are just imitations. <laughs> Come on. Spray up Number seven, perfect 10, Kia. Here's a commercial sure to bring a tear to your eye, although it may subsequently turn to ice. As a young figure skater leaves a stadium cheering, one special person is sadly unable to make the trip. With her father, the ice princess goes the extra mile to give an encore. I wish I was here. The Kia EV9 makes a perilous journey through the snowy wilderness to the skater's aging grandfather's cabin. It's hard not to get chills as she takes to the ice again with her granddad watching from inside. We never saw what the judges gave her at the public performance, but that's irrelevant. The only score that matters is the perfect 10 her grandpa writes on the frosty window. It's an 11 on the emotional scale. Kia, movement that inspires. Number six. Feel plenty good. Silk. Whoa. It's hard to believe that Jeremy Renner's near fatal encounter with a snowplow happened just over a year ago. What's even more astounding is how far the Hawkeye actor has come since then, as displayed in this commercial for Silk Protein Almond Milk. Renner doesn't just look great, he feels great, slicing strawberries with the precision of Ronin and chucking pancakes as if they were ninja stars. No, 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 no. 
knew that I would. At first, Renner thought he'd require a stuntman, but he wound up performing every move himself. The commercial also features Renner's real-life daughter Ava, who is happy to see her dad back in his usual routine. While the commercial itself is fun, knowing Renner's background adds another level of depth that's sure to leave you feeling uplifted. So good! I feel good. <laughs> Number 5. Can't Be Broken – Verizon Broke the internet again. From the early viral success of single ladies to the announcement of her pregnancy to her own Super Bowl halftime show, few celebs have broken the internet more times than Beyonce. With Verizon upping their game, though, Queen Bee needs to take things to the next level. Tony Hale goes from serving Selena Meyer to someone even more powerful. Broken? Mm, no. Despite ushering in the next stage in AI, delivering the Barbie sequel we didn't know we wanted, throwing a wild card into the 2024 presidential race, and launching her sound to the final frontier, it seems that nothing can break Verizon's 5G feature. That is, unless she has some new music that's about to drop. Was this secretly a Renaissance Act 2 ad all along? You ain't gonna break me. Still works. Okay, they ready. Drop the new music. Number 4. The Dunkings – Duncan Last year she came to my work. Now I gotta show her what I can do. He's here. If you're gonna make a sequel, you've gotta go bigger. Ben Affleck takes this mentality to heart in a follow-up to last year's Duncan commercial, where Jennifer Lopez crashed her man's place of business. Despite protests from Jack Harlow, Affleck attempts to one-up his wife by busting into her recording studio with a few other famous friends. As J.Lo begins to rethink her relationship with Ben, so does Matt Damon. Sometimes it's really hard to be your friend. You said you were gonna support me. Lopez gives the Dunkings an ice-cold response although she singles out Tom Brady as the MVP. The performance might not end with the mic drop that Affleck envisioned, but at least he gets to go home with the other love of his life. Have we made that joke before? I told you I'd do anything for you. This is anything. Chill. They're naming a drink after us. Number 3. Sir Patrick Stewart throws a Hail Arnold. Paramount Plus. If it were a football, I'd be able to reach the top. What about a football-shaped head? Sometimes you don't know how much you want certain characters to collide until they appear together in a Paramount Plus commercial. As Tua Tungavailoa, Knuckles, Drew Barrymore, and several others seek new heights, Patrick Stewart points to a certain football head as the key. We're not sure what's more surreal, that it's taken this long for somebody to throw Arnold, seeing Picard as an old-timey quarterback, or that this display is set to Creed's vocals. And Creed's here. Watch and learn. Dang, he's cool. Builds to a hilarious anticlimax with Mr. Shortman falling short of the summit, but that doesn't mean they can't try again with Peppa Pig. In an era where crossovers are a dime a dozen, ad agency Droga 5 delivered a truly inspired mashup that captures every character's voice to a T. I just threw him higher to a place where we won't freeze. Number two. Sarah V. Sarah V. I'm Michael Sarah, and I'm pleased to announce that this is my cream. Sarah V. Michael Sarah is probably the last person you would expect to pop up in a moisturizing cream commercial. When the product is called Sarah V, though, the casting director's work is essentially done. Sarah was already making the rounds on social media, posing with the skin product and signing bottles. The confounding campaign culminated with this commercial, which still raises more questions than it answers. As many of the hallmarks we associate with beauty ads, i.e. a soothing ambiance, pretentious dialogue, and curtains blowing in the wind. Yet it throws several curveballs, including a mountain, a narwhal, and of course, Sarah's presence. If you're wondering why the ad is so bizarrely hysterical, it all clicks when you realize that Tim Heidecker and Eric Wareheim directed it. So, that's my thing. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Carl Weathers tribute, FanDuel. From football star to celebrated actor, Carl Weathers' journey comes full circle. You gave us your all, Brock. Aubrey Plaza having a blast, Mountain Dew. Parks and Rec meets Game of Thrones, although Ben Wyatt's oddly absent. I can have a blast anytime, anywhere. 
friend with anyone? <laughs> Javier in Frame, Google Pixel. Everyday life can be profound when experienced through another set of eyes. Two faces in frame. Three faces in frame. Hold for photo. Big Cups, Reese's. You got peanut butter in my chocolate, in my caramel. But we're only making a few of them. No! Mr. T, Skechers. We pity the fool who's too young to recognize the actor from that cereal box. I pity the fool who isn't in Skechers Snippets. See, Romo? T is always in Skechers. I'm just saying people often misspell Skechers and put a T in it. Quit saying it's not snipping, fool! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Like a good neighbor, State Farm. Thank you, Agent State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Cut! Arnold Schwarzenegger, bodybuilder, movie star, governor of California, celebrity apprentice host. Now, he can add State Farm agent to his resume. Above all else, this action-packed commercial sees Arnold stepping up as a good neighbor, or neighbor. 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 Let's go again! Arnold struggles to get the line down in his signature Austrian accent. This is only made funnier thanks to the commercial's cinematic quality, with Arnold thrust into scenarios involving explosions and choppas. To the director's frustration, what should be the simplest part of the take turns out to be the most challenging. Nothing that a few tweaks to the script can't fix, with extra support from Arnie's twin. Arnold and Danny should play Radioactive Man and Fallout Boy next. Up and at him! Up and at them! Although, that may bring some other script issues. You are a backstabber. I am a backstabber. What's your favorite 2024 Super Bowl commercial? Let us know in the comments. Donkeys! Don't, don't go away, my heart. Why you dunking me, girl? Why you dunking me? Donkeys! My heart. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.